game they played, Kevin Boss and Michael Matthews both did a great job on the edges. Those defensive ends for the Philadelphia Eagles have to play better this afternoon. Three wide receivers, Hickson at the slot. Boss went to the left, Tuber to the right. Movement prior to the snap. Gene Steratore, our referee today. Jaquay Parker. He saw Brandon Jacobs gain seven yards on the first down run for the Giants. Giants this season on first down, averaging over five yards per carry. That's amazing. Look at the 10 plus yard runs, 33 of them. Everybody talks about third down and how well you play. It depends on how far you have to go on third down. The Giants stay out of third long because they are so good on first down. This time, Jacobs gains three on first down, tackled by the strong safety, Quentin Michael. We talked about the win in the open, too, Darrell, and right now, Eli Manning has the wind in his face, so if he's going to be affected by the wind at all, or his throws, it'll be when they're going in this direction. Giants have not attempted a pass yet. Second down and seven. Four wide receivers, Jacobs the lone back. Eli throwing for the first time, and the catch is made by Steve Smith. Penalty markers as Smith is brought down by the face mask at the 48. Personal foul. Defense. Quentin Michael, the second Eagles penalty of this drive. Yeah, there you go, Kenny. The second Eagles penalty on this drive. And right now, what's going on with the Philadelphia Eagles, they're giving more opportunities to the Giants. A pre-snap penalty with the uh, with the offsides. And now, you know, it's part of the game, the face mask, but but this, this team is so confident that anything you give them, anything that's going to be a benefit, is just crit it's a critical mistake. Empty backfield, the fullback, Hitchcock. Split wide to the left. And it's pass caught at the 32-yard line by the tight end Kevin Boss. And the tackle is made by Stuart Bradley. Get that a Eagle, five. That Eagles secondary is really playing off the line of scrimmage from down here, Darrell. You know, Eli's going to go and see that all day long, and they're going to have adjustments just to go and take those five and six and seven yard throws right up to the outside. Well, that's what you don't want to do, Tony. You've mentioned the wind down at, on that field. Don't, don't allow the quarterback to be able to execute short passes. You're not going to have as much impact on that throw as you will down the field. Challenge them to force it down the field. Second and five, the end around to the rookie Mario Manningham. And Manningham is tackled back at the 44-yard line. A loss of 12 yards on the play. This is a very aggressive, athletic Philadelphia Eagles defense. Now, you would think that a reverse would be a great play, but that defense played it as well as you could. I'm sure that uh, that they would like to have that one back. you got to have that signal. Don't give it to me. Don't give it to me. They've got three guys waiting for me on the other side. A little early in the game for that big of a misdirection play, I think. You got to go and see with this uh, defense how, how strong they're running and running to the ball really well. And I don't think in just a couple of plays that you can go and get a feel for running that reverse. That's why it didn't work. Manningham, third round pick out of Michigan, only his second touch this season. He lost 12 yards. Third down and 17. Giants must get to the 27. Manning with time, throws to the outside. The catch is made at the 31-yard line by Sonoris Boss. So the Giants now facing a fourth down and four. And this is going to be interesting to see what Tom Coughlin does. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go for it. I mean, this kick, we watched them during pregame, and this ball was moving so much from left to right that I think a field goal opportunity from that distance is not going to have you much chance of getting three points. 
The winds are swirling. Fourth and four. Giants must get to the 27. Three wide receivers. Derek Ward in the backfield. Steve Smith in the slot. Looks like they're bringing the blitz on this one. Here they come. Manning. Broken up. Sheldon Brown getting a piece of it. Pass was intended for Dominic Hickson. A lot of adjustment at the line of scrimmage. I'm not so sure they knew exactly what they wanted to do. Eli Manning doesn't look like he has confidence that Dominic Hickson's going to be there. Then it appears this negotiation's at an impasse because we're not... And now the Giants start from their own 33. Brandon Jacobs cuts it back inside. Jacobs gaining two out to the 35-yard line. Giants perfect against the NFC East this season. Very dominant. And, and look at the last two. Rushing yards per game, 170. Average time of possession. Just phenomenal what they've been able to do. And the contrast to that, again, the Philadelphia Eagles. They have not won a game within the division. And you see how they struggle with time of possession. This offense is built on explosive plays. They'll get some points, but a lot of times they're not holding on to the ball. This defense will wear down during the game. Second and eight, again looking for the tight end boss, Chris Gokong. Got a hand on it as we check in for the first time today with Kurt Mann. Third down and eight, Giants with four receivers. Derek Ward in the backfield. Giants must get to the 43. Quick release by Manning. Hickson makes the catch, but Sheldon Brown was right there to bring down Dominic Hickson. And when you're going to play that style, you're going to bring pressure, force that ball out quick. Your corners have to tackle. 41-yard punt, five on the return. Eli Manning checking out the photos with offensive coordinator Kevin Gilbride as Donovan McNabb and the Eagles go back on offense starting from their own 29. Well, I've been there that same position that Eli's been in many times. You go up against a Jim Johnson defense, and the Eagles will have to do it the same way because his protege, Steve Spagnuolo, is on the other side. But you come off to the sideline, you're like, hey, I need to see those pitches. i got to figure out what's going on out there. I, I am seeing something I did not see on film. Three receivers set. Eagles went three and out on their first drive. And the pass is caught, taken up to the 36-yard line by Brian Westbrook out of the backfield. Gain of... A little fire plug there at right guard. Max Gene Gill has happened starting. Fractured his ankle against Arizona. Westbrook picks up a first down out to the 40. And the health status of Brian Westbrook really the key to the Philadelphia Eagles on offense. the 10 from the 40 the end around to Deshaun Jackson he's forced back by Corey Webster now heading back towards the line of scrimmage stripped up back at the 38 so we saw the Giants lose 12 on a reverse to Sean Jackson losing two yards here. Well, and he does a great job to just lose two. That's a great stiff arm on Corey Webster. And now it's kind of dangerous right now because now you've got a guy who's an excellent returner out in space. But look at all the blue jerseys. Retracing, finding where the ball is, and getting over there to make a tackle. And that's one of the last things that the Philadelphia Eagles can see right now is another one of their key offensive guys, their playmakers in this explosive offense. Hopefully that's just a little pit stop getting some new uh, some new tires on those feet. Jackson, the rookie out of Cal, second-round draft pick. Leads the Eagles. Remains on the field, split to the right. Four receivers set. Everybody out. McNabb cutting away from Justin Tuck. Pump fake. Steps out of bounds as he comes to the fourth. He has to really anticipate the scrambling, you know, in, in the backfield of Donovan. He came on too close of an angle, you know, thinking he wasn't going to be able to get out, and uh, Donovan did a great job of avoiding him. McNabb under pressure again, got rid of it. Pass was caught at the 44 by L.J. Smith, but Antonio Pierce was right there to make the tackle. Eagles forced to punt. And they are not keeping Donovan McNabb clean. He is not going to be able to get into a rhythm because he is scrambling like crazy. Justin Tuck on this one, looping all the way inside from his defensive end spot, coming clean right now. The stunts, the pre-snap looks have got this Eagles offensive line confused, and they are turning guys loose to Donovan McNabb. Rockers first punt just 32 yards. End over end. 
takes it under it for 19. He bobbled the football on the initial hit by Sean Considine. And Hickson loses four on the return, a 37-yard punt by Rocco. the Meadowlands Giants third offensive possession they start from their own 15 yard line Derek Ward his first carry today and Ward gains nine close to a Giants first down Derek Ward just did a great job of finding boss coming right off his shoulder knowing that he's gonna go and get pushed the size of that guy. The Eagles were impressed with Boss in the first meeting. They felt he played better than they expected. Ward, this time. Evan Boss from this Philadelphia Eagle defense. You see he had the slow start the first six games, but you look what he's done the last six. And they've got their eyes. They know where he's going to be at. They're going to take care of him. Watch this one right here, Brian Dawkins. If sometimes you think it's just a safety, hey, I've just got run support on that one. It's not one of those big linebackers. <laughs> but Brian Dawkins, he's going to bring it every time. It's a divisional game. It's physical. Uh, you've got to be ready every snap. But the Philadelphia Eagles have, uh, have, have, have got a lot, a lot more respect for Kevin Barr. The tall sterile to Amon Bradshaw. And Bradshaw tackled by Stuart Bradley, a yard shy of a first down. They're doing a great job on the edges, Goose. That, that was two consecutive runs. And making those guys in the backfield make their cuts early. So the Giants have gone three and out. On their last two possessions, Eagles punt taken at the 33 by Deshaun Jackson. And Jackson upended at the 38-yard line by Danny Clark. Five-yard return, 43-yard punt by Feagles. Well, the NFL on Fox continues a bigger test later today against that Pittsburgh Steeler defense. Penalty markers as a rallying cry since they've kind of fallen on some tough times with Tony Romo out of the lineup. They looked at what the Giants did last season in their great Super Bowl run. Westbrook on first and fifth. 37. Not just throughout the season, but also during the course of the games. The one thing I've seen from the Eagles over the years is that little bit of lull that they get into each game. McNabb on second and ten. Firing downfield and the catch is made by Kevin Curtis. A spectacular catch by Curtis in Giants the first six games out with a sports hernia. First to ten from the 30. Westbrook spins into the arms of Antonio Pierce. Antonio Pierce is watching him from down here on the field. I mean, he is mirroring, you know, that the, well, Brian Westbrook in the backfield. Brian Westbrook, wherever he goes, Antonio Pierce has an eye on him no matter where he goes. And again, Goose, it's Fred Robbins. Fred Robbins, tremendous penetration on that. Makes Brian Westbrook make his cut two, two and a half yards into the back when he's in the backfield. Yeah. Second down and 11. Three wide receivers. Deshaun Jackson, top of your screen, split to the right. Off the fake to Westbrook. McNabb throws behind Jackson. See how Steve Spagnola wants to defend this. Is he going to have him look at a blitz look and then drop everybody out? Is he going to bring pressure, Goose, and try and jump that high? I don't know. Looks like they're talking it over now. Looks like they're just going to go and play a little coverage. But the Giants do a great job of disguising. Fred Robbins coming through early. Justin Tuck said the center's doing something with the ball, and for Fred to be right over top of him and not have something influence him to jump that quick, I mean, that, that was pretty early in the cadence. I don't even think everybody was set yet. Encroachment, defense, number yep. 98. He saw Jamal Jackson's what, head come up, and he's like, as soon as his head comes up, I'm going. Little did he know it was probably on two, and uh, sometimes you gotta take the good with the bad news. Third down and six. The Eagles must get to the 20. The toss to Jackson and Matthias Kiwanuka makes the play. I don't understand that play at all. With the penetration that we've seen this Giants defense get all day, why would you go and run those plays? We saw a crazy reverse right moves from both teams. Yeah. And then that play. I mean, that's that's 
Not a good percentage play in my book. Well, we really don't have enough time yet to see how they're playing it on the backside. So I agree with you. It's much too early to see these types of time out here to force a field goal attempt into the wind instead of the quarter running out and the team switching sides. It, it just detail is executed by this giant team. Great coaching, great awareness of the situations, take into consideration the wind conditions, what's going to happen. You know, Tom Coughlin is ready to make this call immediately when the clock is running down. And, and one of the things that the Giants team has done all season, really, except for that Cleveland game, they don't do things that beat themselves, and they're prepared for all types of different scenarios. Their attention to detail has been phenomenal all season. This ball should go from the right upright to the left. That's how the wind's blowing down here. 51-yard attempt, David Akers. And Akers connects from 51 yards out. His longest... Eagles lead 3-0. Bit of confusion on the field. The officials initially indicated it was a Giants timeout. It turns out it was Andy Reid who called timeout prior to the field goal attempt. Yeah, so let's give all that praise to Andy Reid and his staff understanding the situation in that and, and feeling more comfortable kicking that direction, which is surprising to me, Goose, because I watched David Akers in pregame and kicking the other direction. The Giants start from their own 15-yard line, trailing 3-0. Manning going deep for Dominic Hickson, and it goes through his hands. Well, we just had a great field goal by David A. And we just saw a great throw by Eli Manning. So anybody who's wondering how Eli Manning will handle the conditions here at the Meadowlands during the playoffs, you can't put it in a better spot than that deep down the field. Hickson, of course, starting for the suspended Plexico Burris, who Giants. He scored more touchdowns, Burris, against the Eagles than any other player in the league over the last four Third seasons. Third timeout, Philadelphia. Second and ten, Jacobs. Jacobs to the 20, gain of five. Keep this in mind, guys. The Eagles are now out of timeouts. Sheldon Brown on the coverage. Brown to the pass. Holding defense number 24. Five yard penalty. Automatic first down. An opportunity for the Eagles to get off the field right now. More snaps. Amani Tumor on the outside, number 81. Hold in the entire ball game and make your adjustments right now. Giants have picked up three first downs in the game, all by a penalty. And now Brandon Jacobs with a first down on his own as Jacobs gains 23. But usually Brandon Jacobs has to go and break a couple tackles. On that particular run, no one touched him until he was 10 yards downfield. That offensive line did a great job of paving a lane for Brandon Jacobs. Let's take a look at it right here. Hedge does a nice job of kicking out. There he goes. I mean, you can't let a man of that size go and run free in your secondary moves. You will not win a game that happens. Derek Ward in the backfield. Two tight ends. Boss shifting. Giants on 48. And quarter expired. Second and 10. Derek Ward. Ward into Eagles territory. Lost the football. Giants recover. The left tackle, David Deal, with the fumble recovery. Everybody hustling for the New York Giants. They get an opportunity to get this ball back. There it is on the ground. Quinton. Quinton Michael had a chance, but couldn't get on. There's Trent Cole down the bottom of the pile. David Deal comes away with it. Mike Patterson knocked it loose. 
Deal the recovery. Third down at four. Four wide receivers winding down. Manning with time. He fires, and the catch is made by Hickson, who had one go through his hands earlier on this drive. Dominic Hickson makes the catch, a gain of 13, and a Giants first down. The New York Giants doing a good job back a little bit because they have not looked real sharp they missed the big opportunity for the big play down the field on that opening play to dominate kicks and they get a good run by brandon jacobs but other than that it's been kind of kind of sloppy here hanging in there from the 33 brandon jacobs jacobs Look to turn the corner, tackled by Stuart Bradley. Steve Smith in motion, second down and eight. Penalty markers, Jacobs. Jacobs gains two, down to the 29 before he would go on movement. You're going to go on the center's head. You need to go on back up like a quarter of a yard or a half a yard. This way, if you do go a little bit early, you still have that little bit of area or room, a cushion, that you won't be off sides when you go early. Jacobs on second and three, right? Ninth play of the drive for the Giants. Third down and six. Three receivers. Smith in the slot. Giants must get to the 23. Ben fakes. Now he throws. And Amani Tumor was out of bounds when he made the catch. What a great job by Eli Manning at the line of scrimmage because Philadelphia play the blitz was coming from his right on the left hand side there was a huge hole where nobody was coming that's exactly where he slid so he's not only has vision of the secondary but the line of scrimmage of where he can go and gain a little time to get that ball downfield and Carney's kick is blocked a 47 yard attempt Carney had hit 14 in a row and Trent second and 10 from the 16 this is Jacob Brandon Jacobs out across the 20. The five, Chris Gokong made the tackle. In that Cleveland game. They're only lost. They've won seven consecutive games since. On third and six, no receiver in the vicinity. That was a slant. It could have been inside that, that five-yard area. Fagels punted from his own 10. Wow, wow what a kick. Bob. Jackson fields it at the 20. Jackson up the sidelines, a penalty marker. 61-yard punt by Fiegels. 22 on the return. Only four yards on six carries. Worst starting field position of the day for the Eagles from their own 23-yard line. Westbrook out to the 26. Game. You call them challenges. They're just not making the plays today, which they normally have done. Nick Hickson has an opportunity to make a play. He doesn't do it. Now, let's not take away this time of the year. We'll challenge you, and I think the Eagles are facing a little bit of that so far in this first half. Third down and seven. Eagles must get to the 33, and they do. As McNabb's pass is caught for a first down. Third down and nine. Matt can't find anyone. Now throws to the outside. L.J. Smith, terrific second effort. And the New Jersey native Rutgers product picks up an Eagles first down as Smith gains nine. Get two of the similar type of games in the course of a season. First and ten from the Giants, 42. McNabb, a pump fake, the 360. Gets rid of it to L.J. Smith. And Smith picks up another first down to the Giants, 30, a gain of 12. Well, L.J. Smith, you like Tiger Woods trying to hold that, that three-wood back after the, the little bug is on his ball. David Akers looking to shut that kick down. Greg Lewis will hold for Akers this time. Sonoris Moss. 
Good return by Moss down to the 30. 22 yards. But could it be, uh, you know, absolutely nothing? Derek Wood, Eagle territory. 15 yards to the deck, second and 10. Boy, he's really getting on their hard counts, getting free plays downfield, using your ability to go and draw defenses offsides. Derek Ward to the 42. had to hit this ball low to try and drive it through the wind. I think they got enough yardage where he just needed to get it up, but th that ball never seemed to get above anybody as it got towards the line of scrimmage. Me and you and Moose talk about momentum and how big it is. I'll tell you what, there was no momentum for the Giants. They were in disarray. They didn't know what direction they were going in. They didn't have any feel right now. Everything is going in the Giants' direction. Just this in time. Yeah, Justin Tuck just comes right up through the middle, sneaks inside, gets that big arm up. Attention to detail again, though. You've got a, you've got a block guy and you've got a guy coming off the edge that is there to scoop and score if you block the field goal. Second career touchdown for Kevin Dockery. He returned it 71 yards. So instead of a successful field goal, a 13-0 lead for the Eagles, and they get the football to start the second half. John Carney with the point after. The Giants cut the Eagles' lead to 10-7. A huge turn of events here at the Meadowlands. The Beach Halftime Report is coming up. Eagles. That's, Anto that's Antonio Pierce. Linebacker for the Giants. Watches John Carney, 47-yard goal. It is blocked by Trent Cole of the Eagles. Three to nothing at this point. Eagles tackle out of the V as in Villanova. There he is. Brian Westbrook, 30-yard touchdown run. Eagles over the Giants, 10 to nothing. Then this, this field goal was blocked by Justin Tuck. Scooped up by Dockery. Dockery takes it to the house. 71-yard field goal return. Touchdown, Giants. 10 to 7. Eagles on top of the New York Giants. First and 10 from the 30-yard line. Westbrook gains a couple. Out to the 32. We talked about the Giants having to come out and play well here in this third quarter with the wind at their back, but I really think that Andy Reid and his guys, after the way that first half ended, now they didn't, you know, Tony mentioned, they didn't take advantage of a lot of the opportunities that the Giants, you know, gave them, but they're having an opportunity to go in at 13 to nothing. And that is a huge chain of events to happen like that. I'm interested to see this opening drive by this Eagles offense. Three wide receivers, second down and eight. The slant broke it up. Kevin Dockery, who scored the Giants' touchdown, following the blocked field goal, Brian Westbrook, the intended receiver. You, you split Brian Westbrook on the outside, you're going to get a corner. You're going to draw a corner. That's a heck of a play by Kevin Dockery. And get Dockery in the game because Aaron Ross suffered an ankle injury in the first half. Wide 
receiver. Third down and eight. Vives must get to the 40. And they do. As McNabb's pass is caught at the 42-yard line. Jason Avant. So the Eagles able to move the chains. Big conversion right there. Get yourself another set of downs. I got nervous there. Looked like Jason Avant was coming backwards. Antonio Pierce gives him a little bit more time. I think he might have ran beyond the first down marker the other way. Just get down. Oh boy, does he get in back off there? Chase actually on the tackle. Eagles down to four wide receivers. Reggie Brown and active today. And as Goose reported, Kevin Curtis will not return due to a concussion. Here's Westbrook up the middle. Westbrook pushing the pile out to the 45-yard line. Gain of four. And that's what they have to do. They've, they've got to continue to get at least three yards when they run the football. And Steve Spagnuolo is going to do everything he can. He knows the way this offense functions from his time in Philadelphia, trying to stop it. But the one thing that John Runyon said is, you know, everybody wants to talk about us getting away from the running game. We can control that ourselves by being efficient. He goes, if we have a bunch of two-yard runs or ones and zeros and... You know, God forbid we get some negative yards, and he's going to move away from the running game. 70 yards on the ground for Westbrook, including 30 on the touchdown run. Second and six. The gap incomplete. You know, that's exactly the one big thing that I've seen, the difference between the first quarter and the end of the second right now. The difference in that offensive line with the way they're coming off the ball, the way they're playing the pass, they're not getting any pressure to when they rush forward. the Eagles offensive line is playing very well together they know the game plan and what they're going to see from the Giants now and they saw it in the first half and how they adjusted they adjusted it very well to not only the pass but the run Eagles must get to the Giants 49 McNabb takes off he picks up a first down Donovan McNabb to the Giants 44 Yes, folks, it's windy. In case you've not been able to figure that out. Giants on offense for the first time in this third quarter. From their own 24-yard line, Brandon Jacobs. Jacobs out to the 28. Eagles held the football for seven. Come away with nothing. This one's coming from the outside now. We saw Justin Tuck in the middle of this one. This one is coming off the edge with Terrell Thomas. Great effort not to give up on it. Look at him spin the body, get that arm up, gets a hand on it. Brent Selleck, get a shove right there. Get a shove. You short in the corner, you didn't give a lot of effort. You never know when your position is going to be the most important one. We've had two guys kind of have a little bit of luck on a PAT field goal, and it's cost the Eagles six points. Actually, more than that with a block for the touch. Jacobs out to the 34-yard line. That's not a good sign right there. Brandon Jacobs looked like his uh, ankle twisted an ankle or something with his leg. Missed the game two weeks ago due to a left knee injury. Did not play in Arizona. One more look at the last play. Brandon Jacobs out. Derek Ward in. Third and inches for the Giants. First down. Man, you talked about it better uh, than Brandon Jacobs in this particular situation. Ward's had a terrific season, over 1,000 yards of total offense. Over 600 yards on the ground for the second straight season. Ward tries to bounce it to the outside. Automatically, so one of the things that Eli hasn't got enough credit for this season is getting him into the right place at the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine, inside handoff to Ward. And Ward is upended at the 45, gain of six as we check in once again with Kirk. Searching for that first win over Minnesota. Kenny? Thanks, Kurt. Third down and three. Giants must get to the 48. Low snap. Manning firing downfield for Hickson out of bounds. You saw Brian Dawkins on the coverage. Dawkins ties a club record today. His 180th game as an equal matching Harry Carmichael. 
Beagles punt. Fair catch called for at the 15 by Deshaun. 41 yards. Philadelphia Eagles lead the New York Giants 10-7. Late third quarter. Giants scored their only touchdown on a 71-yard return of a blocked field goal by Kevin Dockery. Brian Westbrook takes it out to the 20. Looks like something. Here's Westbrook bouncing it to the outside. And down at the 24, close to an eagle himself. Has yards today, Darrell, than the Giants. Giants only 117. Westbrook. Out to the one possession, no points. Second and seven, Westbrook. Westbrook to the getting better and better as the game goes on. Third down and one. This is Kyle Echo. Back, rush the passes, get them tired, and then come back and hit him with the run. Bill Parcells and what he did with the Giants, very similar to that. We're going to come out, we're going to throw, we're going to tire the defense. Now you. Giants today have run only six plays this quarter. That pass is caught at the 41-yard line by Hank Baskin. So the Eagles now. The Eagles must get to the 45. Penalty marker as the catch is made by Westbrook and Brian Westbrook. Tackled by Antonio Pierce, but not before he picks up an Eagles first down. big huddle for those officials right now. They've been in there for a while. Lots to talk about, Kenny. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Westbrook. First and ten for the Giants. 39. And to go and, and run the ball and, and make plays in the fourth quarter to go and close games out. But it, it's very easy. I mean, so methodical. There's so much confidence. Have they played well today? No, they haven't played up to their standard. That means that this game is in the bag for the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, they've responded to every challenge. McNabb stumbling coming out of the gate. Thing is down to third and 11. Now, the Philadelphia Eagles, Goose, th this is amazing to me against this Giants defense. Eight out of the last nine. That's why the Giants had one possession in the third quarter. The all-important third quarter for Tom Coughlin. Third down and 11. Eagles must get to the 29. Down, throws complete to Westbrook. Westbrook inside the 15, the 10, touchdown. By Trey Tom. Been to step up and get the ball by Westbrook. Quentin Michael holding for David Akers. Picks it five yards with the win into the end zone. West celebrates. Eagles by 10. Man, orders are coming in from all over. And thanks to FedEx Freight, we've been able to keep up. You know, we should use FedEx Express to ship internationally. Well, they fly more cargo around the world than anyone else. Yeah, yeah you should always use FedEx. Isn't that like a rule? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's always an exception that proves the rule, though. Like, my dad and my granddad were bald, but I still have a full head of <laughs> FedEx, serving over 220 countries and territories. So the Storm is the world's first touchscreen BlackBerry. It's only on Verizon Wireless, and it's got this huge, brilliant screen. It's perfect for videos, pictures, and more. Now get a free Bluetooth headset with purchase at Best Buy. I love this thing. Fox tonight's filled with excitement. Yay! Oh my God! Oh my God! Kick off your night with the live All-State BCS Selection Show. Then beware of an all-new Simpsons at a special time. The secret is not to swallow the stingers. Follow.
loved by a tasteful family guy. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, you, you just had a little uh, something. And an American Dad expedition for... Goal! Duh. Hit the mother load. Starting at 8, 7 central tonight on Fox. It's an all-new holiday surprise. It's funny. It usually explodes after I do that. House is on a mission. It's too bad you can't just be nice to people. To get the perfect... You can't be nice. Why be a doctor? I think you're confusing. Not the Giants are their... F only seven today. Scored on special teams. Bradshaw in the backfield. Brandon Jacobs return is questionable due to the knee injury he suffered earlier. Bradshaw games five on first down. Let's go back and take a look at this touchdown. Second and five, Bradshaw. Penalty marker. Red level. Manning only five completions today. Going deep, and it's broken. Off by Asante Samuel. In a collision with his teammate Brian Dawkins. Now that was very Cleveland esque right there. We have not seen that from Eli Manning this season. You've got the blitz showing, but he's got some time. And here it comes. We're just unloading it right down the middle of the field. Boy, did he dodge one there. Manning has thrown only eight interceptions this season. Three in that one game, the loss in Cleveland. Bradshaw. Bradshaw out to the third. All right, thanks, Kurt. Third down and eight. Giants must get to the 44. Three wide receivers. Just five for 17 today. Manning falls with a catch is made for a first down. Nice play by Dominic Hickson, who climbs the ladder to make the catch and gain 17 yards. That's a tremendous play because they need something positive right now. This offense is a little bit out of sync. They have been all afternoon. Dominic Hickson on the deep in route, balls up high, goes and gets it. That's a good play by Michael, too. He gets there and puts a hit on. Dominic Hickson finishes the play. Giants and Eagles territory from the 47. Ahmad Bradshaw. Head. Cole coming into this game, Darrell, leads the league in tackles for negative yardage you two today. Well, he didn't have any in that first matchup, if, if memory serves me correct, and that was one of the areas that you want to focus on this afternoon. Kevin Boss in motion up against Trent Cole. Watch him split this. Gets right upfield, unaccounted for. A little bit of confusion between tackle and tight end. is questionable due to a knee. Bradshaw the lone back. Three receivers set. Second down and 13. Manning. Well, there are other ones were a bit longer, though. This is normally the fourth down you see, but because of conditions and where the ball was on the field, he had a fourth and three, a fourth and four. Four wide receivers on fourth and one. Manning looking to throw. And he's hit from behind by Darren Howard. Eagles lead by 10 from the Giants. 49, it's Westbrook. There's that over the last couple games. Second and five, Westbrook. Nothing. Nothing on that play. It's been a... He's a good football player as a rookie. He's a tough guy, kind of out of that same, uh, cut from the same cloth as Marion Barr. Their last 11 on third down today. They must get to the 29. McNabb scrambling in Eagles territory. 19-yard pass play. Giants are out of timeouts. On the Eagles, 49. Manning to Amani Toomer, tackled by Quentin Michael at the 41, a gain of eight. 
Giants have not lost at home this year. 6-0. They have not lost within the division. 4-0. Eagles coming into the game 0-3 against NFC East opponents. It's Tuber again, a first down. Tackled at the 25-yard line as we approach one minute remaining. Well, there are a lot of indicators of, of how is Philadelphia going to pull off this game this afternoon. Everything seemed to point to the Giants, but there was a confidence within them that they were going to play against the run much better today. Steve Smith. Tackled at the 14, close to a first down. All right, Goose, I got to ask you, from a defensive player, I mean, in this situation, why don't you do what you've been doing all afternoon? I, I, I don't know, Moose. I'm looking at the same thing you are saying. Bring the pressure. Just don't rush four guys as we're seeing right now in the line of scrimmage. Make Eli go and force the ball with bad throws. Right now, you're giving him time. This is, this is what he likes. He wants you to give him a lot of time back there and go and find his receivers. And uh, I don't understand why teams go to that prefet defense. Penalty marker at the end zone. Eagles indicating that it's against the Giants. Gene Steratore over for, for a chat with Andy Reid. Legal touching. Offense number 89. The receiver was out of bounds. First to touch the forward pass. It's a five-yard penalty. Replay first down. You know, most we talked about that prevent defense that we see the Eagles in right now. In my opinion, that prevent defense only prevents you from winning. How about I, that one? I, 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 I agree, Goose. I agree. It's a very profound statement. I mean, I know you can't be as aggressive because you don't want to give up something over the top in one play. You know, get caught in a zero-type coverage where you're bringing pressure and everybody's man-to-man. -man, but you know, they've gone right down the field here. Penalty marker. Manning looking for Tuber. Rosselio Hansen made contact with Amani Tumor. And the penalty will be called against Hansen. He got two fouls on the play. An offside defense, number 58. The penalty is declined. Also, pass interference defense, number 21. Spot foul, automatic first down. I just, it's, it's, it gets caught up in the wind, and Amani Toomer stops to turn around, look back, and Jose Leo Hansen just makes contact there. That's tough. They want you to take, turn your head back yeah. to the ball. See, you know, keep your eyes on the ball. Just don't play the defender. When you do that, the defender stops. You run into him because the wind slows the ball down. Sometimes you can't catch a break. First and goal from the one. Four flags. Man into the end zone. Touchdown, Darcy Johnson. I think Philadelphia was offsides again. Whatever information they got, whatever tip they had, <laughs> was was bad intel. Offside, defense, that penalty is declined. Result of the play is a touchdown. Darcy Johnson, second career reception, his second career touchdown, scored against Baltimore three weeks ago. Eli Manning, 13 completions of Darryl. Six of the 13 came on that drive. I'll tell you what, he looks his best when he's in that two-minute hurry-up offense. Maybe they should have pulled that out a little bit earlier, Darryl. Well, yeah, I, I think it's what you said before, Goose. They're playing a type of defense that haven't played all afternoon. Right. Manning had been 7 for 21 on that drive. 6 for 6, 57 yards, and a touchdown. So the Giants will now line up for the onside kick. As they have pulled to within six. Coming up, any of you will see the Cowboys and the Steelers or the Rams and the Cardinals. Potential bonus coverage as well of the Atlanta Falcons and the New Orleans Saints. Just under two minutes remaining in New Orleans. The Saints leading 29-25. Daryl, I got to bring something up that was really interesting. You're talking about playing on Thanksgiving and getting that, you know, extra days to go and get the team healthy and... Uh, feel that it helped you when you played the Cowboys playing on Thanksgiving and it gave you sort of that little extra momentum into the latter of the uh, of the season without a doubt you know it's tough getting from Sunday to Thursday but we never had to travel it was a huge plus for us going to the game on Thursday Philadelphia didn't have to travel they get through that week but now you 
days and, and to get a guy like Ryan Westbrook 10 days at that time of the year I, I felt we always used it as a springboard in the advantage against the having two off weeks having a little, couple extra days I mean to an player and me and you know it down but people don't two days is like a year for a, for a player to have a couple days off and, and in order to recoup and, uh, and help some of the nagging injuries in by late in the year. Yeah. Nice break for the Amherst as well. Next two days. Penalty marker. And gathers it. First rule, don't be offsides on the onside. See if that see if that's the one. It looked like they were awful close to it. Really I was proven wrong. But what was your reaction when you heard? <laughs> 